one of the things that I, I want painting to do for me is I believe painting can be an ideal institution and how I sort of came to painting being an ideal institution for me, what that means was, you know, sort of responding to um, the internet and social media and how much information is the way Michael Haight paints is there's a journalistic uh, thing that's happening where he's using the paintings as um, first meditation for himself to center himself inside or outside of uh, culture and then uh, you know they're kind of like the remnants of the investigation in a way they kind of tend to be a little bit clusterfucky in a great way like a journal should be but then what I think out of that discipline that um, it's a discipline that Michael Hayes involved in this sort of centering meditation it goes from the inside and then it goes out and I think uh, a great way to see the results of that practice and action is um, the pieces upstairs the blood mural pieces uh, because those were site specific which there's no forgiveness on those. It's like you just have to go on the wall and do them. And they are what they are. I think to be able to transition between the sort of personal and um, like the public space, using art as a meditative process to center yourself, puts you in a great position to do that. You're sort of gathering um, all the strength you can from that moment of, of making the work and then you're able to speak something clearly uh, into the outside world. So you have this sort of personal journalistic aspect of the work, and then you have this external uh, direct action uh, through art uh, on an institution. But I think that that type of sensibility is developed because of the process that Michael Haidt has developed for working on his paintings. and. Um, what's sort of nice about it is it what works for me is to think about the artist as not just giving you a physical object um, that you can enjoy but that the importance of what is made and how it's made are both important people say drawing is or I forgot who said it but drawing is a way for you to rediscover something that was lost and um, that resonates with me, uh, you know, maybe not just drawing, but drawing and, you know, other things, um, creative. And it's sort of like Michael is, um, just by him doing it, he's sort of gaining something that he's lost. And this is kind of the, the excrement, but it's like really nice excrement to look at. I. I don't mean to talk about his work in a negative way at all, because they're actually really beautiful. I think allowing yourself, though, um, to have that type of practice where you're moving from um, a piece that you did down here privately, uh, that's in a motif that people can, a painting motif that people can sort of access with familiarity, uh, but then using using that process um, and then transforming it into an action i think that's making that that's a choice and that's an artistic choice or that's uh that's a duchampian type of choice you know um, as soon as it gets into the public space and he's doing two things at once i think it is about the investigation and getting outside of um, the social controls that that influence uh, everybody every day, and um, so it's a very it's a very reasonable uh, conclusion to sort of investigate the world uh, in yourself and try to seek solutions that work for you and others. Um, it's a very good uh, or very healthy way to sort of pursue making. having a greater tolerance for nonconformity. I don't know if that really exists. I mean, um, 
I don't know if just having everything in common and having all the all the same watering holes dug in your own life is really you know I know it's it's good for people that are in our enclaves but but does it really lead to greater tolerance or does it or does uh, intolerance then have uh, I don't know is all the corporate app uniformity um, the culture that's coming out of that is it being coached to have uh, tolerance for nonconformity or is it just as long as people are reflecting things back that make you feel good about you everything's good because it's like being a fucking Eloy like you just take whatever the motherfuckers give you and it's such bullshit like and you don't question it as long as everything is good um, I think the biggest thing with America that I want to see is there should not be a disposable class in the United States. You know, there doesn't need to be um, a scapegoat at the bottom of fucking everything. The, the one thing that I could show you, it could be a personal test to anybody, is when I tell you that uh, capitalism isn't good or bad, it's just a tool that people use. And if I say that you've been using it incorrectly and ignorantly, uh, or that we have all been using it ignorantly, is when we think about the idea of a minimum wage. And everybody loves a minimum wage, because minimum wage, everybody can get on board with that for the most part. It's a, it's a people pleaser. But even people that are suffering financially, if I bring up the idea of a maximum wage, which was built into the model, the economic model of capitalism, both were um, set up to help protect uh, the the middle, to help keep the middle class being here, to help keep everybody having their jobs, to have a happy culture. When you say max wage, even some of the most liberal uh, people or progressive people get really, they sometimes get upset because you want to cap how much I can earn. Um, how does that make sense? Well, why is that offensive? Which, to bring it back to Michael Haidt's work, this sort of investigation of caring about the inside enough uh, to be critical enough of yourself um, and to be critical enough and add analysis to your own motives and to sort of look at those things and be able to find yourself use those things as allies to get yourself outside of our culture and to look back in at culture. And if you are willing to take a look at your life and the decisions that you make and uh, not just have somebody reflect it back to you, but be willing to um, see the ugliness of the decisions and be okay with the fact that that, and try to understand why you made decisions you made, I think those are the types of, uh, who are an artist, practice uh, can really sort of fit the bill for this and Mike's recording this and that's a form of Michael Haight is recording this video very intentionally um, which I see as a form of drawing and you know he's finding things in the world that were that were um, you know that may have been lost along the way Yeah, this is a very healthy activity. This is like the money therapy for me.
it loses its power when I start thinking about it being just limited to, it had to be just limited to the space because there's so much art that's in the hospital. Um, but as an impulse that you, you, uh, you captured, that, that impulse to do this, like uh, what would be beautiful, or like what would just like, bam, it would fucking blow it up, is um, if all this space was open and just fucking, I wanna paint blood murals too like over the fucking whole institution and you walk through the whole thing and there's these fucking blood image blood ghosts uh, everywhere I think this is uh, it's an activity that um, it really does it needs to just keep going uh, in this space it needs to take over the entire hospital everywhere with this